Hello friends, welcome back. Now we have added a section uh, and the panel. Now we have to add the controls and the settings, right? Uh, for the post details. So there are uh, I have added a setting called display date. Okay, so this uh, in the post detail you can see the display date here. Okay, and the array of argument. So let me just go to the add settings and go to the customize setting class. Okay, and close this section class here. Right. So now if you go to constructor method yeah construct method you can see the different arguments so you can pass a type of the setting so whether you want to um whether you want to save this setting as in the theme modifications or into the options table as an uh, like as an option uh, individual option okay so if you theme mode so in the database um we have different theme mode so option name let me just do a like query percentage percentage theme mode okay so you can see the different theme modes here 2022 2021 and 2021 hyphen child so based on the theme um uh, theme uh, active theme um and the uh, active theme um slug or the folder name it create wordpress creator uh options uh with the theme underscore modes underscore prefix and all the customizer related settings will save here into the serialized format okay you can see the display categories display date with their value here uh, here also and then the background color or the display display tags also right uh, wordpress uh, customizer api will save your our settings into this theme mode option only if we have declared a type theme mode okay if you have declared type option then it will save into the um into as an individual option okay so uh, but we won't like there are best practices where we have to when we have to use uh, individual options and when we have to keep it for the um um like as in team modifications right for a particular team so like, for example i have i'm uh, as a developer i'm developing a theme and whatever the customizer settings i have provided into the team are specific um to my team only right so in that case i will use a team mode because it will only those um like settings only used by the my team like what the team i'm developing right and if i add adding as an individual option then if i deactivate the team then those options will be there as an orphan data into the options table and it won't be used until the user using my team right so in that case having a polluting uh the options table with all the different um settings uh and for individual options instead of that we can use a single option or uh, t modes and then it will say all the settings will be saved as in serialized format into the database so that would be a better right so that also we have to like think about like when we develop the theme okay and uh, yeah and then after the capability we already talked about theme supports also the default default value uh, for the settings which we can provide right so that default settings i have provided is a true so by default I want to display all the date tags and categories right and then the transport method okay so like options for adding the live preview of changes into the customizer okay so there are refresh uh, makes the change visible by reloading the whole preview and the post message allows a custom javascript to handle the live change and the default is a refresh if you don't pass the transport uh, argument then it will default is a refresh okay so how these methods are work so um into um here if i may uh if i uh click a change here uh uncheck the display date it's instantly it's removed i have used the post message uh method transport method because i have handled it height so uh of this uh, date through the javascript which i will also uh, talk about it okay and you can do that here also okay so this is the transport method using the javascript because here i don't have to review or refresh the page and if it's a refresh that means when i make a changes wordpress will make render this preview entirely uh, by performing the ajax request or by refreshing the entire preview so in that case all the content of that page will be um, will be reloaded okay through the ajax 
um but instead of and when we use a post message then it won't lo load or refresh the entire preview but it will only refresh the given part which we have managed through the javascript okay and then then another is the selective refresh where uh customizer apis allows to refresh only the part of the like site through the ajax instead of uh, managing the through the javascript or instead of refresh okay i will i have implemented two examples so i will uh, we will see about that so for example let's say just an, an example um okay uh, let me uh, okay uh, i will i will give that example about the refresh into the footer options okay and and also about the selective refresh which i have implemented for the footer options copyright text okay so currently these are the three transport methods so if you go here into the diagram the image uh, here you can see the settings transport methods refresh which will refresh this entire customized preview then selective refresh which will refresh the only the partials like only part of the preview like the like html using using the selectors we can do that and there is a post message which will through uh using the post message method we will do that through the javascript okay so without refreshing the page without making call to the php we can refresh the changes or we can update the preview through the using the javascript okay um so that's a transport method then the panel for which uh panel this uh settings belongs to so that panel we have added it here okay and then uh, other other options like sanitization callback validate callback and sanitize js callback so validate callback server side validation callback for settings value so before updating into the database uh, this validate callback function if you have provided then it will call and we can validate the data uh, provided by the user then the sanitize callback we can sanitize the input given by the user right and then sanitize js callback which we can uh, uh, make like sanitize into the javascript okay and the dirty whether or not setting is initially dirty when created so if it's written uh, if it's passed through then that uh, publish button will always as an in enable mode so if you go here and uh, close this page let me just reload the page again go to the customize okay so currently you say a uh, publish matter uh, publish button is like not act enabled or uh, disabled it's disabled right because i haven't made i have just come to the customizer i haven't made any changes okay but by default if you want to keep this uh, updated then you you can simply go here and make true like so this this display date uh, settings will always be a dirty that means it's uh, it's modified something like that okay so if i refresh now you can see the published changes even if i haven't make any changes so like it depends on the different use cases where we want to keep uh, um, settings dirty all the time <laughs> okay so yeah uh, so that's all about the setting okay and here i have registered only the sanitized callback for the demo purpose where i have provided a uh, callback function which is a uh, which is a static method i have copied this from the 2021 team just for an for a reference because same uh callback function sanitize checkbox used in the 2020 uh, 2021 team so i have just used for a demo purpose okay so it will simply just check whether the given value with uh, whether the user has been ticked the checkbox or not and based on that we are just returning through or false so using the sanitization we can also perform the indirectly the validation and the sanitizer value so apart from the true and false no other values will be saved into the database okay so sanitization uh, validations um, all things are matter um, so and and when we registering the custom settings then we have to use those callback functions uh, provide the callback functions and handle all the uh, user inputs like better way okay to avoid any issues or the errors or anything okay and the capabilities and everything we have already seen okay so this way we have added a setting so if we added a setting it doesn't mean that it will display the checkbox or anything into the front end we have just registered the settings and these settings will use by the wordpress um, to save into the database and before the saving into the database it will use these callback functions for validate for sanitizations and everything okay and the transport method also like we, uh, which method uh, where a user have or developer have defined to refresh the con to refresh the preview after modifying that um, setting okay and similarly i have um if i go here in the add control 
okay so this is the setting for display date then i have added a control and in the control we have to pass the same settings id here display date and the display date so if i go add a control here uh, go to here let me just close this one so you, here you can see uh, two, uh, two settings and the setting so all settings tied to that control if undefined id will be used id that means whatever the uh, id we have passed um here as so the first argument is the id okay so it is id so if the in the add if you have pass settings or setting the primary setting for the control if there is a one and if like this can be used when we have multiple settings tied to the same control but currently that's not a case so we i haven't passed these two value and uh, i have like so by default it fall back to the id which is the like uh, our setting okay and the dead setting name will be used into the input box uh, as a name uh, attribute okay and then the few other uh, arguments are the same capability priority section which uh, where this control belong to which section so i have provided section uh, this one detail section which is the id of uh, uh, its id when we register the add section okay and uh, then label the description and the choices uh, which we can provide the choices for the either radio button or select con uh, drop down or or uh, yeah only for writing two options radio button and the select drop down okay where we can provide the choices um, in the key value uh, pair okay and then input attributes if you want if you want to add some custom input attributes right to our input controls where the attribute names are the keys and the values are the values and it's not used for the checkbox radio select and text area or the drop down pages control types for these control types input attributes no, uh, do not work uh, and other than the like text input and other inputs can be uh, can be used okay and then allow addition so a user interface for adding a new content currently and it's only used for a drop down pages control okay and then json deprecated it's deprecated so we won't going to use that um, and the type control type whether you want to like text box or checkbox or text area or the radio or select or any any other controls okay and also you can like in the customizer api provides a way to create a custom controls as well okay so i will like 2021 team uh, cre have created a custom control so i will just give a basic overview about that okay and then the active callback function uh, on which uh, if current settings or current condition has matched then this control will be displayed else it won't be displayed okay so that you can manage so active callback function you can manage on the controller level or on the section level or also on a panels level but if panel we have added a panel but panel do not have any sections even if it's have a section it don't have any control then the panels won't be displayed so empty panels empty section won't be displayed there has to be control to display into the customizer right um so so you can manage this active callback on the lower level at the controller level also right um yeah and uh, this way i have added all the setting for uh, tags also for categories also right similarly and uh, all this uh, into the content options and go to the block page and post it is all these options has been added okay now um the next is about managing the javascript using the javascript how i did it but before that what i have did um to go to the template tags okay so here in the template the, the function i have overrided of the parent theme and here i have added a condition if get theme mode so get theme mode function we can use to get the given option uh from the uh, get theme modes okay so if i go here it will get the theme modes so get theme modes function will return all the theme modifications or the settings for of the current active team and it will return and it will simply get an option from the theme modes underscore double themes log okay the folder name and then uh, the get theme mode function will just simply um, apply some filters theme mode underscore name so you can apply the filter as well yeah means using this filter you can modify the value and this is very important because wordpress uh, customized api use this like uh, we have seen that okay in the first video like we have made the changes into the customizer updated copyright text titles menus and everything and we have changes as a save drop but using that uh, 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 id of the customized change set when we visited the website and all those uh, all those settings has been applied 
uh, by default without making any changes right so all these things happen by by these filters so customizer api will add the filters to these filters and then return the saved ch ch uh, customizer changes instead of the actual changes so that customer uh, the users can preview the changes without modify the actual options right so this filter will be used and uh, and then it will simply return the theme mode and if it's a true then i will simply call this function this is the function of the parent team and uh, i haven't i don't want to like i haven't i need i don't need to override this function because i don't have to any changes to this function so i can call the parent team functions here and similarly if i go here i have made a changes whether the display categories has been set to true then display the categories and if the display text set true then uh, display the text list here right so i have made some changes here so now this will be uh, display uh, this uh, changes will be applied when the user is visiting the site okay but now what about a preview like uh, in the preview we have did heights of functionality so thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress